What is up, guys? It's me, Cameron, back for a new video tonight. And today, we're going to talk about one, probably one of the most greatest field trips I've ever taken in my life. Okay, so the anniversary of the Orlando trip is coming up. So I'm like, hey, why not? Let's make a video and the memorable of this amazing trip. So my choir had the honor, my school choir had the honor to go with my choir and band. Had the honor to go to Orlando, Florida and play and sing in Universal Studios. So that was pretty, pretty cool. But what we didn't realize there was it was going to be like 85 degrees outside the whole freaking time. And we had to wear like white shirts with black pants with a tie and like black shoes like the usual choir uniform. After we um, performed, we were all sweaty and gross and like literally no one went and watched. It's like we stood, we just stood outside and just sung like two songs and like probably like ten people watched us. But anyway, other than that, that trip was so iconic in my life and and all the fellow choir and band students that's watching this now, we can remember all the amazing memories we have. Okay, so it was like near the end of March and and the few days of April. So we left, I think not Monday, no, it was like Thursday, or whatever it was, it was a school day, and that night we left and on the bus, and it was like, literally all my friends were going, so I was made it a whole lot better, and, um, and, this Orlando trip is where I met one of my very best friends, Eric, which he's still my friend now, and I'm so glad, because he's amazing. And, um, so we had to, like, all, like, meet in the gym, and, like, like, rules and regulations and everything we needed to know for the trip. And then, we all went on the bus. It was, like, probably around 9 o'clock before we went on the bus. And, so it was a pretty sweet bus. It was, um, a Really nice bus because it was like, how long, how far is Orlando? Like, a long ways away. <laughs> so we had a pretty nice bus with TVs and stuff on it. So it was pretty nice. And um, so I sat in the middle, and Eric, which I've I've met, I've not, I've not met him yet. Which I know him a little bit from choir rehearsals. But like we didn't like really talk or anything, so um he was he was sat behind me, and my mom was like, "Hey, send a picture of you on the bus." I was like, "Okay, so I took a picture with me and Eric on the bus, and I sent it to him. So I sent it to her, my mom. She's like, "Who's up behind you?" I was like, "I don't know." I was like, "Okay," but then Eric went to sleep, so I, I'm my creepy self, turned around and like put my head like in between the seats. Like, I just stared at him sleeping. And he woke up. He was like, what are you doing? And I'm just, I don't know. And, like, that's how we became friends. It's not just a nice memory you have. It's just such a nice memory. But anyway, um, it was pretty cool. Because it was, like, around, like, 12 in the morning at 1 at night. And we arrived at this rest stop. And... That day was the same day that Heat Stroke, the song with Calvin Harris, Ariana Grande, and like all these other cool artists. That song came out, so I bought it immediately on the bus, and it is such a bop, and it's such a good song. I highly recommend you listen to it. It's such a good song. So that was pretty cool. I stood up all night for our song to come out, and on a field trip. The best of us best of both worlds and then um once we got on the bus i hit my head so you know when you get up there was like that little cubby hole i stood up and i hit my head on the thing and it woke me up i was like oh my gosh how was that i was like half asleep and on the bus it was the first time i've ever watched moana but the sad part was there wasn't the sound wasn't really that great, 
so like I barely heard like what they were saying the whole time. So like at least I got to watch it, so it was a pretty cool experience. And then we got to hang out more on the bus, and then we finally got to to Universal. Now it's my second time there, as I went the first time my 16th birthday party. I went to Orlando with my family, which was amazing. And we went, we finally arrived at Orlando. Oh my goodness. Um. So we, so me and Eric are now friends. And we meet up with my other friends, Maddie, Kirsten, etc. And, um, and we meet up and I introduce him. I introduce him to all my friends. And I'm like, hey, this is Eric and all that other stuff. So we all became friends and we all came into like a big group of like, so we had to have a big group of people, like a group of five for that week or whatever to like hang out with as a group. And our roommate, so we had roommates in a hotel. And my roommate was Eric and my other friend Caleb. So it was me, Eric, and Caleb. I can't remember who else was in that room. I can't remember. But um, it was a pretty cool room. I mean, it wasn't like it's amazing. It was like a normal hotel room. But the fact I had it with my friends, it was even more fun. It was like we stayed up all night and everything. It was so cool. It was so much fun. And um, so that was it. We got up that morning and we went into the park. And then we like played in the park. And went on the Harry Potter rides, which I loved. <laughs> um, I cried a little bit because I was so happy. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's Harry Potter everywhere. And, um, oh my gosh, this moment was so iconic. Kirsten, Maddie, if you're watching this, Blondie. Because we went to go eat at a restaurant. And it was, like, in, like, this cartoon land. And it was called Blondie Cafe. I think it was called Blondie Cafe. But it was this cartoon. And then there was a song. There was this song I put on loop over and over and over again. So it was me, Kirsten, Maddie, Holly. Was Holly there? I don't, I don't remember if Holly was there or not. And Eric. We were all at the table eating and there's this song it's like don't burn the stew blondie it's like it's just crazy stupid song for a loop for two hours straight so you heard that song for two hours so like I, like that song is drilled into our heads to this day like i still remember blondie the song it's insane oh my gosh Anyway, after that, you got on more rides, and that day was over, so it was pretty cool, so I hang out with my friends, and then, girl, listen to this, so it was, so this was the same time as the Jaina Swimming Tour was going on, and I asked my mom to get some tickets, because I'm like, hey, after my birthday, you're, I'm going to have the tour going to New York, so it's kind of close to where I live. And she's like, sure, haha, being funny, but like, I actually thought she was serious. So I thought this was, I thought this was happening. Well, my stupid blonde self fell for the trickery that was gonna happen on April Fool's Day. So on April first, two thousand seventeen, my mom sent me a screenshot of tickets to the Dennis Women Tour in New York, and she said, "Happy late birthday." They came in the mail. And I literally screamed so loud. And Miss Miss Coffee, she was the choir director and the one of the people who took us to this trip. She was like, Cameron, what is wrong? And I showed her my phone and she saw that my mom sent me tickets to the tour. And I was like crying. I was like <laughs> And it was just, all my friends are like, Yay. And then like right after that, she was like, April Fools, I love you. And I literally cried again of sadness because I'm like, I thought this was real and now it's not. And I'm sad. And I was like, thanks, mommy. We were in my whole day, but I didn't know. 
and the mandate got better. And and past that, okay, so there was this new ride in Universal, like the Jimmy Fallon show ride, whatever. And Jimmy Fallon himself was there at Universal the same week we were there. So I had the honor to meet him. He was like, no pictures, no pictures. So I didn't get a picture of him. But I met one of my favorite late night TV show hosts, and I'm so happy. And oh my gosh, yes. And like this memory I have of this field trip was like the greatest thing ever. And the anniversary of in the universe. What am I saying? And the anniversary of the Orlando trip is coming up in two weeks. And I'm so excited because I get to post everything about it in two weeks on my Snap story. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this amazing memory that I had. I really wanted to share with you guys. I can subscribe and leave a comment of what you want me to do next in my next video. And I love you. Bye.